It's my pleasure to welcome you. Thank you for making the time in this early uh, hour of the day. Really appreciate it. Uh, so I'll start by a general introduction. Obviously, you know most of you know this, but it doesn't hurt if some of you are not uh, to to basically just uh, go go back to the roots of ARM, which was founded in November 99, uh, 1990, uh, spun out of a company called Acorn Computers, which was building basically personal computers. Um, and the initial funding came from Apple, Acorn, and VLSI. Uh, it started in this barn in, in Cambridge uh, with few employees, and now it is a company that uh, uh, has offices all over the world with uh, nearly 3,000 employees. Um, what does ARM do? Obviously, ARM business model is quite uh, uh, different from uh, the rest of, of uh, the microelectronics industry in the sense that it is a, uh, an IP company, so we do not fabricate silicon. Uh, we, we build IP, intellectual property, and we license the cores to our licensees, which are over a thousand licensees now, uh, to build and systems around them, fabricate chips uh, in particular, but also build complete systems, and increasingly software is a big component of this. So in terms of our activities, increasingly growing, obviously the processor is at the heart of what we do, system level IP, data engines, fabric, 3D graphics, uh, but also physical IP, so we also build laid layouts, uh, optimized layouts of uh, our processors. Uh, software IP, as I said, is increasingly a big uh, element of what we do. So Java, for example, systems for security systems and intelligent energy management, uh, Linux support, for example, etc. Development tools as well. Um, so DS5, Kyle tools, etc., are increasingly important elements of our um, uh, offering. And our connected community, so ARM on its own, obviously, uh, uh, it doesn't sit on its own. It has a, 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 a vast ecosystem of partners. As I said, over a thousand uh, partners who uh, basically work with, work with us to bring high performance, uh, low power, uh, uh, low energy, um, and uh, also low cost on affordable uh, solutions to customers worldwide. So the equipment that are adopting ARM cores, you really have to try extremely hard to avoid an ARM offering. So in the uh, microcontroller segment, the M segment, uh, you find uh, applications or products in, for example, uh, health, in uh, smart metering, etc. Uh, the R product, which is real-time, deeply embedded, you find them in hard drive controllers and uh, laptops and all sorts of things. Connectivity, for example, Bluetooth, um, you find also a lot of um, R cores. And the A cores, or the application uh, cores, which you find in uh, high-end consumer electronics, so smartphones, uh, television, home media, uh, and increasingly also into um, the personal computing and also in, in the server domain as well. So we span a large range of products uh, going from the infinitesimally small to the large uh, products, servers, for example, and cloud computing. So this year it's, it's, it's a bit of a special year in which we have celebrated the shipping of over 50 billion cores since our creation. And in last year alone, we uh, shipped over 10 billion. So actually, in last year, we shipped more than we did in uh, uh, over a decade of our existence from 1993 to 2003. Um, and uh, we're well on course to hit the 100 billion uh, by the end of this decade. So uh, uh, huge growth, especially in the last uh, few years as we grow into new markets. OK, so that's, that's an overview of, of ARM as a company. The university program, so my name is Khaled Bankrid. I'm the Worldwide University Program Manager based in Cambridge. And I had a team of uh, uh, seven people now uh, who uh, basically are uh, all over uh, the world. Um, our goal is really to help and assist academics, students, and hobbyists to access ARM and partners' state-of-the-art technologies, products, and tools. Uh, so that's the most important thing for us is coverage. We want to make it easy for educators, professors, uh, students, and uh, hobbyists as well to access state-of-the-art technology at a very, very affordable price. Um, our values is that we respect academic freedom. I'm, I'm an academic by training. I spent 13 years in academia in the UK before joining ARM last year. And so we truly uh, understand the need to respect uh, diversity and, and the academic freedom to choose whatever they think is suitable for their students. 
We serve both the scholarship and the arm business strategy. We don't think that these are mutually exclusive. And we constantly measure our performance as well using um, quite uh, uh, formal KPIs, and these KPIs are based on customer requirements. So you do truly influence the direction of our uh, work. Uh, the feedback that you give us through um, workshops like these is extremely important and might well decide what we will do next year. So please let us know what you think is good about what you are doing, what we should do more, and, and, and what we should do less. Be extremely uh, honest and open about it. That's, that's what we want from you. As I said, you have the opportunity to influence the direction of our travel. Our flagship product to academia is what we call the lab in a box. And this is really a self-contained package that allows professors to teach confidently with state-of-the-art, as I said, technologies, hardware, software, uh, from the ARM uh, 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 ecosystem, um, pretty much uh, at, at uh, free of, uh, of charge initially. So the, the, the hardware, the seed hardware that we give away is, is donated by our partners. In this case, this particular workshop is ST. So we give away typically 10 boards to set up a lab. Um, software is also free of charge from ARM, so we give away the full professional uh, tool suite. In this case, for microcontrollers, is the Kyle tool, and high-end applications is the DS5 as well. So it's the full professional, no uh, limit on the size of the code, and it includes the middleware and everything you need, plus full teaching materials. And I think that's where we have some, some unique offering there. So by teaching material, we don't mean marketing material or sales literature. These are really lecture notes and lab manuals, uh, with solutions designed by academics for academics. Pretty much everything that you need you can uh, to, to, to basically set up a course. Uh, our litmus test is that a professor should be able to take the, the box two, three weeks before the start of term and be able to run it confidently. That's our litmus test. Um, so we do complement this by professors' workshops like this one, but we do have one-day versions of these. Um, that we run in different places. So give us one day of your time and we will train you on the lab in a box material. And what we do understand is that no, size, uh, uh, no one size fits all. So we do understand that what, whatever we give you, you probably need to uh, customize it to your own needs. And that's the aim of the workshop. It's not us telling you basically how you should teach, but probably the other way around. You tell us basically what you need, and then we basically could suggest how you could tweak the material in order to fit your own uh, circumstances. Now, if you take the material and use it as it is, we're happy as well to do that. And there were some customers who used this as they are. They haven't changed the material, and that's fine. But we do understand that many people would want to tweak it. And the aim of the workshops, as well as train the professors, is to have this conversation, which will basically help you tweak the material to your own needs and also give us feedback on the next version. So we have constant maintenance of what we do. So every year we have a, uh, a, a version, a new version. Of, of, of the lab in a box. So as far as uh, our collaboration with ST is concerned, uh, we started basically shipping our first joint lab in a box on embedded system design. So this is a very, very useful course for introductory and also um, medium level embedded system design um, based on the same board that you can use today, obviously, is the uh, Discovery F4, which is a Cortex M4 processor, high end processors which have floating point capability and uh, we have full teaching material around it and it's been you know great success since we started shipping in March um, uh, there was a lot of demand on this and we have set up labs based on this lab in a box and this particular workshop is basically based uh, as a sample of that lab in a box we are not just uh, concentrating on embedded systems although it's a big area uh, so these are uh, the uh, topics that we are trying to cover. Microcontroller-based embedded system design and programming. IoT, Internet of Things. So by the end of summer, we will have a lab in a box on IoT accessory that teaches students how to build apps on smartphones with Bluetooth LE, Bluetooth low energy connectivity, and to connect to an embed, a microcontroller, which is Bluetooth LE enabled, uh, which we see products now coming into the market. Um, so they tell, teach them how to build applications and how to build, basically, to connect them to basically an embedded system. Uh, computer architecture, obviously, is important, and we plan to have one uh, uh, next year. ARM-based SOC design, and we have already one with Xilinx. Operating system design, 
so this is based on the uh, open RTX, RTOS from ARM. Uh, graphics processing, digital signal processing, and we have a workshop tomorrow on DSP, Lab in a Box, which is based on the same board. So cool. Professor Donald Ray at the back is gonna give this workshop tomorrow at four o'clock, uh, 4 p.m. Um, and mechatronics as well. So these are uh, basically uh, uh, Lab in a Box that will actually appear by the end of next year. Some of them will, be, will, will arrive earlier than that. So by the end of this year with ST, we're gonna have the DSP Lab in a Box, which we should start shipping in July. And as I said, there will be a workshop, hands-on workshop tomorrow at 4 p.m. on it. There will be an embed as well, Lab in a Box. So the embed, how many people are familiar with embed? Okay, some, not, not all, everybody. But this is really, you know, uh, a high level API which allows you to program microcontrollers, microcontroller systems at a high uh, level. So it's for really for fast and effective prototyping of, uh, of microcontroller or of embedded systems. And we're gonna have one based on the ST nuclear boards by the end of, of summer, and also an operating system design uh, lab in a box, which is gonna be based on exactly the same board. So this is important for us. It's not, the choice of the board is not uh, uh, arbitrary. We choose boards that are low cost, as low cost as possible. So this retails us about $15. It's important if students want to avail of them that, that the cost of ownership is less than the cost of a textbook. That's what students can afford. Um, and also we try to build as many courses around the same platform so that the cost per course is low. So $15 if you have three, or three lab in a box, so the cost per course is about five, five bucks. And that's, that's, that's the deliberate choice that we are making. So by the end of this year with ST, you're gonna have these four lab in a box products, three based on this discovery F4 and one based on Nucleo. The reason is that Nucleo is embed enabled, discovery F4 is not. So that's the reason why we chose a different board to have the embed lab in a box. So other activities, there are training videos. Uh, we are even filming this presentation. We're gonna put it on our YouTube channel. Um, so we do film the one day workshops that we hold. Uh, the last one we held in Cambridge in April. Uh, it's gonna be on our YouTube channel very soon and we have already two uh, such workshops already on our YouTube channel. These links give you, for example, a, um, a video on ARM fundamentals. It's about 45 minutes. I find it very useful and I used to be an academic. Sometimes, you know, students who lack the, the background uh, in certain field, it doesn't really make sense to start a, converse, a deep conversation with them unless they go through the fundamentals. So I always li like to give them a link and say, or some, somewhere to go and read and then come back for more in-depth questions. So this is really designed as uh, for people who don't know really much about ARM uh, and the ARM products. It's 45 minute introduction to the world of ARM. Um, by the end of it, people should be able to basically at least decide what kind of products, segments they, 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 is more suitable for their needs. The connected community as well holds our forums and blogs. So ARMCC is where we interact as well with the wider community. It's very useful. People post questions and answers there, as well as the, our newsletter. So we've got a quarterly newsletter, and I know many of you are already registered to it. So we do actually send the quarterly newsletters with uh, the latest from from the ARM University program. So the latest lab in a box, you will find information about it, how to access early samples. So with the DSP lab in a box, for example, we have early access samples now, and some people have uh, already availed of that. Um, the IoT lab in a box, which is coming soon as well, we have some sample chapters which are available as well. So if you want to just look at the material before you commit to using it in your classes, by all means, you know, uh, get in touch and we can show you some sample materials. So, to do that, you know, registration is the way to do it. So go to arm.com slash university. It's very easy, click on button, you've, you've got a mail form that you fill in with some information and tell us about what you are doing, uh, your activities and uh, feedback on our various offerings. Don't hold back, as I said. Tell us what you would like us to offer, what you'd like us to do more, what you'd like us to do less. The website is very simple. Uh, on a couple of clicks, you could get uh, basically to wherever you want, so we segmented uh, our basically uh, customers into students, educators, and researchers. If you are an educator, you click on that image, then you get an offering like, a, like this one, it's a matrix which gives you the different topics that we offer something on. Um, uh, and either you want to set up a course or you're looking for textbooks or development boards or software tools. Uh, so if you are interested to set up a lab on embedded, you click on that cell and you get all of our offerings. 
uh, uh, on that. You read, uh, and if you are uh, basically satisfied with a particular product, you request a donation, and um, it takes us a few weeks to, to qualify it before, in most cases, obviously, we, we do um, we do accept the uh, basically the request. And we have uh, a number of these boards in our uh, warehouses already that we can ship if uh, basically you are interested in using them. Okay, I think that's it from me. I'd like to keep the interaction as short as possible. Sorry if it ran a little bit uh, longer than expected. Enjoy the workshop. I leave you in the capable hand of uh, Victor who is gonna take you through the material with some hands-on uh, experiments. Thank you.